Hey guys, for this video I'm going to make a reusable microwave popcorn bag. Alright, let's get started. So the items you need will be a 13 by 22 inch rectangle of fabric, 100% cotton, and you need two of those. As you can see here, I have two. And then you need some seasonings if you choose to put that on there. These are my favorite. You will also need some kernels, obviously. And then if you choose to use sea salt, you can go ahead and do that or regular salt. I don't put salt on them at all actually. I just use the seasonings or I just use plain coconut oil, which is my favorite kind of popcorn. All right, so what you're gonna do is take your two fabrics and you're gonna lay them um, pretty sides together, basically. All right, so now you're gonna sew around the entire rectangle, leaving just a little bit on the bottom to where you can turn it inside out. All right, so you're gonna turn that inside out through that little hole that you made. So now I read this blog like, a million times for some reason I could not understand what she was saying and I still ended up doing it wrong I think um, so I did make another one off the video so you're gonna take it down about two inches from the top and then you're gonna fold the bottom up and I believe over it it's really confusing in the instructions so I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> But that's what I did. This first popcorn bag, I actually just lined them up right next to each other and just folded it over just a tiny bit because I thought that's what she was saying. But it turns out different in the end. So stay tuned. So see how I just kind of overlapped it just a tiny bit? It's actually supposed to be overlapped, I believe, all the way to the top. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's confusing. So all you're going to do at this point is just sew the sides together. So here I am just turning it inside out from that main pocket you can see here it's not overlapped at all and so that's why I made that weird face <laughs> but we're gonna give it a shot anyway so we stick it in there with your kernels I put it in for like two minutes and then I put it in for like another minute I kept adding 30 seconds to it because that's what my microwave allows me to do and it just didn't seem like it was popping all the way so I just kept adding 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And it said to wait like for so many seconds between each like pop that you hear. And it was just still popping like crazy. So I didn't think it was ready to be done. So I just kept adding 30 seconds. And I think it ended up, um, well, you'll see in a minute. Alright, so as you can see, this is right out of the microwave. It's very hot. Um, it has popped it a lot, as you can tell in there. Now you can see the opening. So if this was, you know, if it was sewn all the way to the top part, I'm not sure how that would work. So I just poured it all out here. So as you can see here, it has torched the popcorn a little bit in some parts. Some of them looked good. I didn't taste them because I was like, eh, this is burnt. I'm not tasting these. But some of them are good. Some of them are not. So it was very uneven cooking. And as you can see, the fabric kind of changed color where it was burning, I guess. I would consider this a fail. Um, 
I know that there is success in these because I've seen plenty of them all over the place. So it isn't a success. It can be a win. Um, I have made one after this that I actually sewed it to the very top of the lat lid and it seemed to work a little better. Um, I'll insert a photo here if I find that photo but it still left a lot of kernels inside the bag so I was still not happy with it. I still would go back to my normal plug-in popcorn machine that works way better than these microwave ones. I'm probably just doing it wrong. If you have any tips or tricks on how to make this better or work, comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, thanks. Bye-bye.